Ah, Club 41. Nothing screams pirate bar like the aroma of moldy grog sprinkled with just a hint of sea spray and shattered dreams. Hmm. I will double your quadruple rate. Keep your gold, silk pants. You can't afford me anymore. But you must break Sweetwood out of jail and bring him back to me! He is the only one who has the poxalicious strains that I need. You're a little behind the times, Demange. I'm pox-free and fit as a fiddle. See? <gasps> Impossible. Nothing's impossible when Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, is involved. And after I cure my wife and everyone else, I'll... Wife? Yeah. She was standing right next to me when LeChuck exploded, so the pox hit her pretty hard. I want you to hunt down and capture this wife of Guybrush Threepwood. Hey! What part of Non do you not comprend days? But I need her! She's the only other pirate who could possibly have the Threepwood strain of the pox! Then get her yourself! My dear Mademoiselle Lufle, I don't get people. I hire people like you to get them for me. And if you won't get them, then maybe I'll find someone to get you. I don't like to be threatened. Oh! Oh, my phalange! What the? Oh! <sighs> that was a very, very bad mistake, mademoiselle. Well, it wouldn't be the first! Jerk. What's that artistic abomination? Ah, that be a painting of Flotsam Island's notorious jungle beast, painted by our own Hemlock McGee. Hemlock? Really? Aye, no one knows more about our legendary beastie than old Hemlock. Nice dartboard. Isn't it, though? Ah, it was one of the few things I managed to salvage when I was washed ashore on Flotsam all those years ago. Can I play around? Unfortunately, the darts were lost a few weeks ago, during a bar fight. <coughs> and pity, too. What with the annual Flotsam Island dart tournament tomorrow night? Hmm. Set me up with a line of Blood Island volcano shots. Me pleasure. These come with our complimentary Club 41 insulated volcano shot glasses. Hewn out of molten lava. They can keep hot liquids hot for a week. Impressive. Ooh, that's some hot grog on grog action. I'll just save this last one for later. Judge Grindstump? Oh, please, no need to be so formal. In here, I'm just plain old W.P. Grindstump, owner and proprietor of Club 41. Aren't you a little upset that I'm running around free? Heavens no! <laughs> what kind of pirate town would this be if we didn't condone the occasional jailbreak? What a remarkably progressive attitude. Besides, it's not as though you can really escape the swinging sword of Flotsam Justice. What with these blasted winds blowing in again? Ladies' night is looking a little, uh, grim. Well, it's early. Uh, once we got the buffet table laid out, this place will be hotter than the devil's knickers. <laughs> so you're really the owner of Club 41? Have been ever since I won it from the original owner in a dart tournament a few years back. Poor old guy never knew what hit him. And by hit him you mean... A dart! Right in the old noggin! I've been wondering, why is this place called Club 41 anyway? You know, I don't rightly know. <coughs> Uh, the last owner never got a chance to tell me before he succumbed to his dart-related injuries. <laughs> well, this has been a little strange, but uh, I've got a name to clear and a pox to cure. Ah, uh, good luck with that. Not that I'm complaining, but why'd you turn down to Singe's contract to hunt down my wife? I may be a backstabbing mercenary, but even I have some standards. Sure, now you have standards. Shame they couldn't have shown up before you, oh, cut off my hand or knock me unconscious and drag me back to Flotsam Island. What can I say? I'm complicated. You look uncharacteristically grim. Eh, it's been one of those days. Oh, I know what you mean. 
Betraying your childhood hero can really take it out of you. Hey, that was just business. Your business sucks more than the winds of flotsam. Sometimes. What are those scary looking drinks? They're a row of Blood Island volcano shots. They look painful. Only the first one. Yikes. I think you should know that I'm still really angry with you. Would it help if I bought you a drink? What, so you can poison me? I'll pass. I noticed that you're without pox. I'm pox free. Tested on a regular basis. Well, do you know why? Probably because I'm not really a pirate, since I'm a pirate hunter. Gotta like a pox that respects minor semantical distinctions. You know, if you have even a scintilla of a guilty conscience, I could really use your help. Listening? Well, there's this trial going on. So I've heard. Some guy was trying to tell me that it's the trial of the century! E, 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 E! Yeah, well, I could really use some trumped up evidence. Or a few intimidated witnesses. Or maybe a well-placed briber ten? You couldn't afford me. Of course. How silly of me. It's all about the pieces of eight with you, isn't it? Not always. I also accept pieces of nine. Well, I can see you've got inner demons to wrestle with, so I'll just get on with my life. Thanks. And watch out for DeSinge. That thing he did with his finger was unnatural. I wonder what happened to Murray. Nothing like a little hot wax on a cold flotsam night. I better get some of this before it cools. Mmm, warm. Whoops! Hey! Arr! Now look what you did! Arr! You clumsy clam clipper! You ruined my prototype! Now I'll have to start all over! Arr! So if it's messed up, can I have it? Fine, take it! Just get out of me sight! Arr! This ought to help me get a leg up in the trial. Hello there, uninformed man on the street. What do you want? Tell me you're still blowing glass. Surely a dry cleaning business would be more profitable. Ha! <laughs> that just shows what you know, Binky. People are clamoring for Crypt Digit's unbreakable tubes. Clamoring! What people? Well, just one person, really. But he ordered a huge supply. Don't ask me why. Why? I told you not to ask me that! <laughs> I see you can make a glass leg, but tell me. Can you make a glass eye? Eye! But not just any glass eyes. Genuine imitation eyes made from the crystal wreaths themselves. Genuine imitation eyes? That's right. They'll imitate the eye color of anyone they see. You just point them at someone's eyes, give them a few seconds to set, and shazam! All new eye color. When you got a color you like, just pop it in your eye socket, and it'll stay that way forever. I'm intrigued and cautiously optimistic. How much? Here, try out this defective one for free. Defective? Aye, it's a little nearsighted. So you'll have to get up real close to the subject to capture their eye color. Thanks. I take back all the nasty things I wrote in my diary about you. 
How does it feel to be hideously diseased? How do you think it feels? <laughs> mm, bad, I'd say. Pretty bad. You got that right, Missy. Are you not outraged by this ridiculous trial? Well, I'm just glad that scum sucking Threepwood will finally be brought to justice. Uh, I'm Threepwood. Speaking of which, shouldn't you be in a holding cell or something? We, uh, get a ten minute break every hour. It's the law. I'll see you in your, um, pectorals later. Yeah, well, the three of us will be waiting. It's Jacques, the electromagnetic monkey. <laughs> let's see if this will work. Aha! <laughs> Come on, let's get you out of here. There, Twinkle Toes. Enjoy your last moments of freedom, cause <laughs> you're going to pay for what you did to Miss Pretty Whiskers. I'd be happy to pay. Do you accept traveler's checks? Drop the charges and I'll spare your life. Bah! <coughs> life ain't hardly worth living without the sound of Miss Pretty Whiskers' delicate pitter pat on the bar floor. I'm sure she feels the same way about the delicate pitter pat of your stumps. How's the box treating you? Oh, not too bad. I didn't really need that lung I coughed up. Yeah, vestigial lungs are the worst. I hear you may know something about Flotsam's so-called jungle beast. None have seen the jungle beast, but tis the scariest, false, melanist thing you ever didn't see. A dark jungle god that walks the land only by dead of night. Dark jungle god. Aye, twas said to live within the stomach of the god of death, feasting upon corpses. Until one day, death ate some bad shellfish and upchucked the jungle beast into existence. <sighs> but if you haven't seen it, how do you know it exists? Because it eats to appease the beast. We've left many a fleshy sacrifice on the jungle altar. By morning, the meat disappears from the altar without a trace. Disappearing meat. Yep, jungle god's the only explanation. What exactly are you doing? Mixing up Miss Pretty Whiskers' food. What's it to you? Can I have some? No. How's Miss Grungy Whiskers doing? Her name isn't Grungy Whiskers, you lava licker! It's Miss Pretty Whiskers! See ya! Hey, look! A five-headed bonobo! What? I didn't see nothing! <laughs> Sorry. Must have been a weather balloon. I don't need a cup of that. I just got to get some of this incredible bacon grease. There. Now my jacket and my pants smell like bacon.
Who's there? It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate at law. Oh, Councillor Threepwood. <coughs> what can I do for you? What are you doing on Flotsam Island anyway? Well, <coughs> after that series of misadventures on Spinner K, I found myself without a captain or a ship. Sorry about that. It happens. So I drifted for a bit before landing here on Flotsam. <coughs> now I've hired on as Judge Grindstump's personal bailiff slash chef, creating all sorts of new delicacies for his nightclub. It's a bit of a dream come true, it is. How's the Pox of Lechuck treating you? Oh, it's not so bad. I mean, there is the incessant drive to commit acts of monstrous evil, of course. It's a bit of a drag on the social life. But my pillaging swing has never been better. So, uh, I guess you could say it's a bit of a wash. <coughs> hmm. Tell you one thing I didn't expect. The slaw cravings. I mean, honestly, mate, what's that all about? No hard feelings about being humiliated in open court? No worries, mate. I've been humiliated so often it's kind of second nature to me by now. Great. Besides, I didn't really think it was much of a case anyway. But that Stan fella, he seemed to think I could make a pretty piece of it off of your untimely execution. So I figured, eh, what the heck? I'd like to return to court to defend my client. All righty then. Let's find Judge Grindstump. The Pirate Court of Flotsam Island is back in session. The Right Honorable Wallace P. Grindstomp presiding. Let's keep it moving, Captain Threepwood! I'd like to call Hemlock McGee to the stand. Hemlock McGee! What's that? Oh. And do you swear on Blackbeard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, Pinky. I knew Blackbeard back when he was bloody Black Peach Fuzz. Just let me at him. Let me at him. Ensign McGee, it's your contention that Captain Threepwood injured your cat. Injured? He practically crushed him. Hit him right in the puss with a stuffed manatee, and he did. And how is your cat today? See for yourself. The poor dear is paralyzed with fear. I have to feed her through a tube. Oh, my poor Miss Pretty Whiskers. Oh, my poor little Pretty Whiskers. Pretty Whiskers? <laughs> Your witness, kid. Jump, girl. Go to your master. <laughs> Miss Pretty Whiskers! Captain Threepwood, quit tormenting Ensign McGee's cat and get on with your case! Assuming you have one! Your Honor, pirates and assorted buccaneers, Hemlock McGee has asserted that it was I, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, that brought about the horrible emotional scars that even now leave poor Miss Pretty Whiskers paralyzed with fear. But I put it to you that it was not your humble defendant who traumatized Hemlock's unfortunate feline, but a far more insidious assailant. The one who's in this very courtroom as I speak. J'accuse! Jacques the monkey! <laughs> what? Objection. There's no evidence of monkey play here. No? Let's ask the victim. <laughs> Miss Pretty Whiskers! <laughs> Miss Pretty Whiskers is up and about and seeking revenge just like a good pirate cat should. Miss Pretty Whiskers, come back! <laughs> we'll get our revenge together. Your Honor, I rest my case. Mr. Prosecutor! Well, considering that my client and evidence just ran out the door, I guess old Stan's gonna have to drop this one. Good idea! In the case of McGee and Pretty Whiskers versus Threepwood, the Pirate Court of Flotsam finds in favor of the defendant, Guy Brush Threepwood! Come on, Judge, get him with the pox! Don't make me send the bailiff up there! Icky. 
Hard to believe that nacho sauce could do that. I'd like to recall Bosun Krebs to the stand. Catherine Krebs! Now oh, remember, darling, you're still under oath. I. Your Honor, I'd like to enter this leg shaped lamp into evidence that Bosun Krebs was not, in fact, scalded by Club 41's nacho sauce. What with that burn? It's not even the same shape as my burn, see? I'm not allowing that leg lamp into evidence until it's got a burn that at least matches the shape of the plaintiff's scar! Object. To what? To this trial. To your hat. To the way my beard's itching. I also object to the way that guy's looking at me. Hey. And to this hook. And. Captain Threepwood, you will cease your foolish distractions before we come down and cease them for you! that crazy pose. Gotcha! Right! Where were we? Your Honor... Bailiff! Please escort Captain Threepwood to the brig! Aye aye, Your Honor! Hey, guard! What do you want? I want to see my lawyer. Again? He's not getting any smarter. Captain Doro? Do you have it? One nigh indestructible glass eye. Pox colored, just like all the cool pirates are wearing it. Santa Pica and Santa Fe! Ay, 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 ay! My eye is really scary! Now, according to Crimp Digit, all you have to do to set it is pop it in your eye socket. Ooh. How do I look? Dangerous. I think you mean dangerously cool, eh? Sure, whatever. Now, about your testimony. No problem, mi amigo. Just call me back to the stand and ask me about this. Your Dark Ninja Dave Porcelain Power Pirates treasure map? I'd just smuggle this into here. In my, uh, let's say, mouth. Sizzly. You know, if I was a little more scientifically inclined, I might be worried about the effects this stuff is having on any future generations of three points. 